am worried about the price of Ethereum in the coming months. I am extremely worried about the price of Ethereum in the coming months. But this is actually, you know, not a bad thing. I think this is, you know, a great thing for long-term investors, uh, including myself. Ethereum is a project that I want to accumulate. And I think if we can drop to this price that we are going to talk about today, uh, this will be one of the, uh, you know, one of those, you know, once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, I will definitely take advantage of this opportunity. Uh, I hope you guys will also, you know, take advantage of, you know, this opportunity. And this is exactly what we are going to talk about. Uh, if you have watched, you know, a lot of my updates on Ethereum, uh, this is a project that I am, you know, extremely, extremely very bullish on in the long term. But in the short term, you know, I am, you know, extremely skeptical. And I think, you know, Ethereum above, you know, $1,000 is extremely, extremely overvalued. Uh, Ethereum around, you know, $1,200 is extremely overvalued, uh, despite the fact, you know, the project is already down 60% from its all-time high. But it's not just Ethereum. Uh, when you look at the total market cap, you know, $800 billion more market cap is, you know, extremely, extremely overvalued for the crypto market. And I think, you know, over the coming months, you know, we could potentially drop, you know, $400 billion in total market cap. And that will bring the total market cap around, you know, $400 billion. And that is where I personally think will be the fair value of the entire cryptocurrency market. And that is where you could potentially get, you know, a lot of great tokens at a fair price, uh, many of them on a huge, you know, discount. But you can only capture, you know, you can only capture this value if you are, you know, extremely patient. A, a lot of you guys continue to accumulate, you know, many of these tokens that could potentially drop, you know, another 50% from their current price. So I am, you know, extremely excited as always uh, about today's live stream. And I really want to focus on Ethereum, uh, show you guys the reason why I am, you know, extremely bearish on Ethereum, uh, not just Ethereum, you know, the overall cryptocurrency market. And as always, if you guys have, you know, any project that you would like me to analyze, make sure that you put them in the comment section. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday wherever you are. If this is your first time on this channel, I ask that you please subscribe, uh, like the video as well. So make sure you guys are smashing that like button. If you want to catch me live in real time, make sure you hit that notification bell so you could be notified. And again, you know, extremely, extremely important. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel, guys. We are pushing towards 5,000 subscribers. We are almost there. So if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. The entire, well, almost the entire market is green. We have Bitcoin up 1%, Ethereum up 1%. Uh, there's a few projects, you know, not too many. Uh, there's a few, there's a few projects that are outperforming, you know, both Ethereum and, uh, both Ethereum and Bitcoin. But we also have, you know, a few bigger market cap, you know, old coins that are down in the last 24 hours. Uh, let's take a look at what's happening on coin market cap. So total market cap, $845 billion. Again, when I look at the total market cap, 
you know, I continue to believe that we are extremely, extremely overvalued. Uh, I think the fair value of the crypto market cap is somewhere around, you know, $400 billion. And this is the reason why I continue to, you know, to stay on the sideline and continue to speculate that a lot of these projects could potentially trade much, much lower in the coming months. Again, we have Bitcoin, uh, you know, up 1%, including Ethereum. Uh, you look at, you know, XRP up 2%, Cardano just 1%. Uh, Polygon, you know, close out of 2%. Uh, Polkadot, you know, close out of 1%. We have Solana up 2%. But I would still, you know, recommend to stay away from Solana. Uh, this is a project that is, you know, in, you know, extremely, extremely. If you're joining us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So I would still encourage you guys to definitely stay away from Solana. Uh, the risk of accumulating this project right now for, you know, your long-term position is extremely, extremely high. So I would definitely still recommend that you stay away from Solana. Uh, stay away from, you know, any token with any association to FTX, uh, stay away from any meme coins. Uh, this is not the time and stay away from any project without a utility. Uh, but other than that, guys, again, you know, welcome back to the channel. Uh, extremely, extremely excited about today's live stream. If you guys have any project that you would like me to analyze, make sure that you put them in the comment section. So as you guys can see, you know, from the title of today's video, uh, today's live stream, you know, we are here to talk about, you know, a $250 Ethereum price prediction. And again, I'm going to show you guys, you know, the reason why this is something that you definitely, you know, have to keep your eye on for the next couple months uh, ethereum is currently trading around twelve hundred dollars so thinking about you know a two hundred dollar you know ethereum when the project is trading above you know a thousand dollars it is you know extremely extremely Again, make sure you subscribe, guys, if you just got here. Uh, so Ethereum is, you know, trading above $1,000. So, you know, talking about a, 200, a $250 Ethereum, it is something that a lot of people just can't wrap, you know, their heads around. But I am here to tell you guys, now I just tell you guys, and I'm here to really show you that a $250 Ethereum is definitely possible. It does not have to play out. There is no certainty in this market. But I am going to you know, show you the chart of Ethereum and show you the reason why a, you know, why a $250 Ethereum is something that we can definitely see before the end of this bear market. But again, there is no certainty in the mar uh, there's no certainty in the market. You know, all we have is you know probabilities. But if you've watched, you know, a lot of my content in the last you know six to eight months, we've done a great job. You know, giving price predictions, future price predictions. When Polkadot was above, you know, thirty dollars, we talked about, you know, Polkadot potentially trading below ten dollars before the end of the bear market, and here we are today. We have a five dollar Polkadot. When Solana was trading above sixty dollars, 
you know, we talked about the price of Solana under $20. And here we are today. We have a $12 Solana. And if you go back and you watch, you know, a lot of, you know, the price predictions that we gave early on in 2022, you know, many of those projects, guys, are either trading, you know, around those targets or a couple percentage lower. So recently, 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 uh, what is the interview? What is the interview? Uh, did I? All right, guys. So recently, uh, Richard Hart had an interview with, you know, Crypto Benter, and he talked about that Ethereum could potentially drop, you know, ninety five percent from five thousand dollars, and that will put the price of Ethereum around two hundred and fifty dollars.